Welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> really, really lovely. Thank you. 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 You've adjusted my waistline. As you can see, I'm struggling. My zip is Yay. struggling to keep it together, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. On today's episode, as you'd have seen from the title up, I am going to be making an amazing pepper sauce by Shades of Sumi. But I checked her comment section, just the top comment, because I saw I, it was kind of funny. And when I read it, it was Nello telling her that she stole her own pepper sauce recipe. So yeah, this recipe has been passed from generation to generation. And I just want to show you guys because it was quite different from how I ever do things. It was very similar to how I make a Yamashi sauce, but it was still very different and I want to see how it would taste. If this is something you think you would enjoy, sit back, relax, and let's have a good time watching how to make the best pepper sauce recipe ever. <laughs> My name is Stephanie, guys, and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. <laughs> Okay, so this is me with um, a bowl. The first thing I'll do obviously will be to wash my hands because I literally got up from my working table to this place where I've been clicking the mouse up and down the whole place. I'm going to wash my hands with the hand washer and then I would pour my meat into this bowl and wash it very much with salt. <laughs> in the pot now and then i'm just going to add the things just as she added them but i'll probably put music as i add them so the first thing she did was to add rosemary um thyme and then some seasoning i'm going to add rosemary thyme and the all-purpose seasoning i have and then the next thing she did was to add her knorr cubes i'm calling it knorr because during the big brother presentation when no sponsored it's calling it knorr normally you know they were calling it knorr so i guess that's the real name so knorr cubes um, to taste and then the next thing she did was add salt so i'm going to add salt after the words she added onions um to preference i really love onions so i'm going to add a lot of onions into this she added garlic and ginger real fresh ones apparently guys i don't think i have any fresh garlic and ginger i have the powdered ones so i'm going to do that um and then let my meat cook while i go back to work <laughs> Man, it's still black. <laughs> My baby, this is real fast. Hey, I know can to see back. She like chill, chill, chill. If I tell you, say I love you, oh. My money, my body, now your own, yo, baby. I know get million for the account, yo. My money, my body, now your own, yo, baby. No do, no do, no do, gra gra for me, yo. because i had to quickly rush my colleague was calling me because someone was shadowing me at work so she literally needed me to just to update me on what she was doing and where she was going and stuff so let's quickly add parsley another funny thing i'll mention hobby really loves his meat to be honest i don't like adding parsley when i'm cooking right? i like even more like when i'm serving because it's just like this lovely looking herb like the green color is just so beautiful so yeah guess who guess what he brought to me like this because he went out last night and then what he brought back home one second so this was what he brought pepper meat he really loves pepper meat but guys this is chicken and then guess what our own is going to be nicer than this one though i'm consuming this one now while, while, I, while i work shabu ours is going to be nicer meat is now boiling this is from 15 minutes after um, I had to go back to my desk to finish everything, so I'm actually going to shut down now and then log in later when my 
body comes so um, yeah so it's boiling and the next thing i'm going to do obviously it's smelling really good and guys i'm going to have to put this on very soon so here it's going to be noisy so um, let's do all the talking so i'm going to blend the peppers now the peppers i actually have uh couple of peppers in my bag a mixture of green and yellow there's one yeah green and yellow and then i've got tomatoes but this tomato is actually for the sauce because hobby loves pepper and like in everything and sometimes it's a bit too heavy for myself and the rest of people in the house whenever they are in the house so i would have to make like pepper sauce like proper like traditionally meal not just pepper or like all the salsa stuff they buy so proper pepper sauce for all his meals so he can be adding them you know on his own i'll make it with the tomato just so that it's not crazy pepper and then put spices like nutmeg crayfish and all that that's your crayfish is going to go into this meat um as well very soon but let me just keep showing you the so i bought scotch butter and well and I've got one tata shea in the fridge. I'm going to bring it out. You see everything later with, with music and all that. So I'm going to bring them out now. I saw chili zoo, but I didn't watch the video properly to know that chili should have been added. But obviously, pepper is pepper. Pepper is not pepper, sure. But I have Cameroon pepper. Yeah, that's true. So I'll bring that out and then I'll blend everything. And that will be the, like, the next step and stuff. Yeah. So while you're washing the pepper, make sure you try and break them into little bits. This would enable you get the right amount of chunk because if you put it like big you know the blender will be wasting time to break them so by the time you break them into little bits yourself you quickly just blend strategically like using the lower one bah, bah, you do like <laughs> two or three times and then it will like get give you that non-smooth paste that you're actually going for because you don't want it to be a tomato blend you want it to be a bit chunky with the blend so that's extra i'm not using instruments for all the seeds to come out because i hear that the seeds you know come off bitter when they come out it's actually also for this one boiling here i put it on six because obviously i was working i mean not even standing i'll probably have put it on nine i didn't want it to rush and just quickly go and be ready so as you can see it's still boiling fine let's give it a bit of a stir this is lamb there's no kidney or any soft meat i'm putting inside so we'll just give it to cook based on lamb and obviously there are some bones in it i like the bones because of obviously calcium and then uh, yeah <laughs> i guess i like to buy bones as well but if you're serving it with like rice obviously people have to be careful if there's bones in it original bad man so I've literally just had a taste of this and I think it's tender enough. So I'm going to stop this now before I do the blend. <laughs> and it's tasty, guys. Mm. Like I'm literally tasting, but I didn't want it too much. I just took one tiny bit. I really love how it has come out with the taste. And the pepper I put inside is not reflecting yet, but I can just taste all the flavors of the other ingredients I put inside. So right now I have the meat all set up in this my small baking tree. I really love the fact that they're really really tiny. So while someone was doing her, she said she put um, I think it was peppers, any pe kind of pepper you want, but she said cayenne pepper was what she put in the house. And I can't remember, I think it was parsley. Baby, touch me gently. I know you want me. I know you currently frying the onions now um just as so many use we also use in the food in the house and this is because of health as well rosemary again frying the onions a bit of parsley she mentioned she puts curry but you know it wasn't she didn't feel it was necessary and once this gets all the flavor in the onion which obviously is getting right now <laughs> we'll put the pepper sauce inside you make my head to swell, I make a man feel sweat to hear. Baby, love me gently. Baby, kiss me gently. I know you want me. I know you want me. Baby, love me gently. Baby, hold me gently. I know you want me. I know you want me. 
basically what i want to do is address the fact that i was saying i was at work and then coming here today is a sunday guys so the fact that i'm working is actually on overtime work and my hours are calculated based on the time i spend on the system so this is not like a monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday kind of work that i'm leaving to come and do this of which i still have one hour for that but i don't think this would have taken one hour should have seen the process so yeah this is just for anybody who does me and my work or anything like that please this is happening on a sunday this is now going to go into the oven right now over there this is hobby's mix so this is a mixture of tomatoes like four big tomatoes this size and then um scotch bonnet to be honest i didn't count that probably eight or nine scotch bonnet and then onion just like half of an onion once it gets dry i'll try and fry it up and just make it a sauce and then for this one i've added a bit of garlic powder just now let me just add a bit more so you see again Mm -hmm. yeah i some garlic powder and i'll just add ginger i think so did that at some point of her process as well so i just add more ginger because thinking of it this um peppers like obviously they're just plain it was the meat that you know we had spiced up properly so even if we're going to put the stock here we still need this to be um, relatively tasty so another thing i'm going to add is nutmeg because nutmeg kind, kind of gives me that i don't know local vibe to a meal and then let's add the fish as well. Add this amount of the fish into it. For peppers, I would add a bit of Cameroon pepper as well, just because of the flavor Cameroon pepper gives. It is a different kind of pepper. They're all peppers, but different peppers have the different flavors they give. So that's my oven making the sound. Our um, meat should be ready. Let's just bring it out and show you guys. You can see this is really dry now. I don't want to see too much oil, you know. I know she said the oil should be plenty, you should show this and show that. So it's time to have a quick look at what's in the oven. Mm -hmm. So these are the meats. I don't even know if they are dried up or not. I don't think so. So I'm going to put it, while this is so fine, I'm going to put it more for another, because I think for 10 minutes on so at 200 degrees centigrade. So I'm going to put it for another, let's say, 8 minutes. All this thing is still cooking. It's really dried up. The materials is actually like so dried up. So I think it's time to put the stock in it. The stock is quite a lot. So I'm going to keep part of it for jello fries like tomorrow or next or just anytime I have time to do any form of cooking. So I'll put these things into this and sauce now. I still wanted to have that dryness over your machine to be honest because to me this is actually very similar to your machine. So I just had a taste of this guys. It's really hot but at the same time it's sweet. It's tasty. So this has done um, another 8 minutes and I think we are ready to go into our... So on top of it, we take some else. You know what, let me put up this one on the side. Just put that on the side. Okay, there's more to have for and the rest of it we're just put inside our sauce. I think it was lamb shoulder or lamb foot or something like that. I still have goat meat. I'm gonna make this one first. When I'm making a goat meat, like you know, I'll be so used to it and be sure what I'm doing. Right? <laughs> Why not your body daily no matter? And this is done with this. The oil has dried, the water has dried, the oil color is the same thing with the sauce color. How has tasted the meat I served him? I'm going to start to cook now and he loves it like he's literally, I don't have to be used to him. So I just come and finish up what I was doing. So, guys, this is how to make your perfect sauce. I'll do a concluding video very soon. Let me just tell you. Stop this. And then this whole thing is already dry enough, so I fight as well because I don't get that kitchen again. I know you want me, want me. Good figure, can hold liquor, likes sugar, can mess with her. One mega, run with her, she's a lot, them digger. No man fi waste your time, say, no man fi catch your vibe, no. We have now come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Right now, I am frying Hobby's own sauce. The thing about Hobby's pepper sauce, to be honest, if I was a food blogger, I'll probably be making it as another video, but I'm just going to give you a tip. So obviously, you saw everything I've done already. The only thing is I'm not going to add curry and random spices like parsley, coriander. 
and stuff like that in that one because if the sauce is going to be even using for his evil soups and every other Nigerian soup we eat as he get aside other things that obviously those spices could do so it has to be as plain as possible the most ingredient being different beautiful flavors of pepper so that's how I eat about this for our beautiful sauce which we have made today as I said earlier I don't even know who owns this sauce because so we say she owns it when you go into the first pinned comment on her channel where she put this sauce Nelo came and said, this is my sauce, you your, your husband stopped stealing my sauce or something. And yeah, so kudos goes to Somi for obviously making me want to make it and Nelo for actually owning the sauce. You can call it my own sauce too because I added some spice. <laughs> and guys, yeah, I'm going to, I'm not going to make a blog post, but I'm just going to put the step by step in my description box so you can easily go there. Or maybe I make a blog post and put a link to the blog post just so I get views on that blog as well. So guys, that, that's about it. I'm going to try to make a thumbnail picture now for you. So help me God because I always struggle with those things and call it, you know, they wait for my guests to come because some people are coming to have lunch with us today. A few moments later. Come for it. Hi, Hi everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, these are just friends, guys. And it's time to eat. So we're gonna have our lovely pepper so sauce. Nice I said Lisa is too because so he was. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much. This is lovely. And then is this drink enough? Do you want juice or something? No, I think I'm just gonna have another glass of wine. Okay, cool. You also have Bailey's in case. So maybe after it's in. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Thank you so okay. much. Sir. All right. Hey. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, dear. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Let me take my hand. Okay. What's that? Okay. Cool. You've adjusted my waistline. As you can see, I'm struggling. My zip is Yay. struggling to keep it together, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thank you. You're welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't done yet. I click the bell right beside the subscribe button so you get notifications every time I post. Drop a comment. I love, love, love to read from you. Share this sauce link with your friends, your families, your enemies. You know how we do it. Follow me on Instagram and Metro Gypsy. As a fashion blogger, guys, let me even give you an outfit of the dice. I'm wearing this jumper. It's a set. Um, let's show you the button. It's set from Zara two seasons ago. And yeah, that's my outfit of the day. I'll see you on the next episode, guys. Bye bye. Make me move that way. Me, I 